Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 73 in chapter 8. In this chapter, we will talk about conservation of energy. As you can see, the mass of the object is given, and also the position function is given. Then we need to play these two functions to find the work or power in some certain time. First one, we need to find it at this point of time 2 seconds. We find the power. Normally, you can see at the one point of time, you need to find this power. Looks like we have two choices to find the power, right? The first one is the work divided by time taking. The second one is the force times the velocity. And there, you don't have a, a, period, a, a period of time, you just have a point of time. So the most reasonable choice is to consider power equal to the force times V. Agree? Yes. Now, you can see, we know the function, the position function. So very easily, we can get the velocity function with time, and then do the der derivation again, we can get the acceleration function with the time t, right? And in this part, you can see, you can get the acceleration at this t equal to 10 very easily, and also get the velocity at t equals to 2 second very easily. So this one we can get acceleration and the velocity at this certain time. Now the force can be right as mass times acceleration, this one. So you can see in this uh, function, the force you, you are get and the velocity you can get so very easily you can get the power. The second one is very easy. You just need to find the power at the t equal to 4 seconds at this certain point of the time. So we just repeat everything, right? Get the acceleration, get the velocity, and get the force at this point of time. And then we use the power equal to the force times velocity, we get the final answer. The next one, we can see, we need to find the average net power during this time period. So this time period, initial time is 0 seconds. The final time is 2 seconds. Now it gives you a period of time. So in this one, when we want to find the power, it is average power, agree? So we need to find the work times the time taking. So how can you find the work? The net work, we consider work energy principle, right? The change of the kinetic energy equals to the work. So in at this initial time, we get its velocity, and the final time, we get its in final velocity there and there. And then we can get the change of kinetic energy. And this change of kinetic energy is just a work. It's just as a work. So power P equal to work divided by time taking. Then we can get our final answer. The next one very similar to the second to the third one, right? We can find the average power at the time period from two seconds to four seconds. Similarly, you need to find work in this period. So this comes from work energy principle. Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. And the V2 and V3 can be found on this function. And also, the power equal to the work divided by time t. Then we get the final answer. Thank you.